This is where Simon Chung was due to arrive 12 days ago on a train from mainland China. He never made it to Hong Kong. The last thing he messaged his girlfriend, according to local media, was ready to pass through the border, pray for me. We haven't been able to independently verify the messages. He has apparently been detained in China since then. The 28-year-old Hong Konger was on a business trip to the neighboring city of Shenzhen as part of his work for the UK consulate in Hong Kong. He didn't do anything bad or anything illegal inside mainland China. Actually, his uh, family members and girlfriends has been upset um, throughout the days because they, they don't have this, this kind of experience before. And also, I, I think they uh, worry about the safety of uh, Simon. The only way to um, keep him safe is try to urge the Chinese government to release him as soon as possible and give reasons why Hong Kong people uh, going to the mainland China would be detained. The Foreign Office said, we are extremely concerned by reports that a member of our team has been detained returning to Hong Kong from Shenzhen. We are providing support to his family and seeking further information from authorities in Guangdong province and Hong Kong. That further information wasn't forthcoming from Beijing. What I understand from my sources is that Foreign Office staff genuinely don't know why Simon Chung has been detained. But it does make things a lot more complicated in that UK-China relationship. It used to be a golden era in the days of David Cameron and George Osborne. But since the Hong Kong protests started, that has certainly not been the case. The UK has been commenting and China doesn't like that at all. Beijing has been pushing back, saying this is a matter for China to sort out. Don't get involved. So this will make a tricky relationship even trickier. Weeks of protest here in Hong Kong have unnerved Beijing and strained its relations with London. The British Foreign Secretary has called on China to respect peaceful protest. Today, Hong Kong's chief executive Carrie Lam attempted to find a way forward. One of the most important strengths is the rule of law. That's why uh, we have been doing so much to ensure that the rule of law is being upheld and respected in Hong Kong. Law may rule in Hong Kong, but it works differently in China. That's exactly why protests began, to reject an extradition treaty to the mainland. Simon Chung is now apparently at the mercy of that system. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, Hong Kong.